standard home insurance is for you, your family, you know, a property that you own that you live in. Uh, landlord insurance is, of course, a property that you're letting go. Um, so it's commonly referred to as buy to let insurance or landlord insurance. Um, and that's specifically for a property that you own that you're letting out to somebody else. Um, we can cover a variety of aspects of that. Um, so, for example, it might be a student let, it might be let to working professionals, um, it might be uh, let out to retired individuals. Um, we will be able to offer a bespoke policy that covers you for those instances. Something that we also do with landlords insurance is we can also look at other aspects which we know are quite common for landlords. So legal protection, but also rent protection as well. Um, again, this is something that can be uh, almost an oversight, I, I would say, for a lot of customers. Um, something that they don't technically um, look at in their policy when purchasing it online or with a non-advised provider. Whereas what we will do is, again, look at the risk, look at the situation and then make a recommendation based on what you need, uh, which can include not only the property insurance, but also cover for things like legal and rent protection as well, which is vitally important. If you're renting out a room, I would say potentially falls more within the non-standard home insurance um, area. And the reason for this being is, is you're still occupying the home. Um, or usually would be occupying the home. So if it's just a room that you're renting out, we can cover things like lodgers, um, au pairs, you know, things like that where you're just letting out part of your property. It doesn't technically fall under landlord insurance because you still need cover as a homeowner for your home. Um, so what we would look to do is acknowledge the fact that there's a room being let out and make sure the policy is tailored to that. With leasehold flats, commonly, and I will stipulate, it can change in the UK. So commonly in England and Wales, the situation is that if there is a block of flats, that there is usually a management company or a single policy for the buildings. If that is the case, it doesn't stop you from getting landlord's insurance cover out. However, what we would do is understand what it is that you need to cover. So often the case is that you may have a furnished flat. So you let it out furnished. The buildings may be covered under a management policy or under a single policy. However, you still require cover. What we can then look to do is cover the contents um, where you furnish the flat. But we could also then still look to offer the legal cover and also offer the rent protection as well. So we are still adding on um, and enhancing that cover level. When it's based in Scotland, it can differ. So you may have a block of flats where the expectation is to cover the building separately. Again, we can accommodate that. We can accommodate the circumstance of individual flats whilst in England and Wales. However, again, it's something that we would have a conversation with, understand the actual risk and need, because what we won't want to do is offer dual insurance, which can quite commonly happen in that circumstance. When renting out to family, first thing we're going to want to understand is, is there a tenancy agreement in place? So if there is a tenancy agreement in place and the situation is that you want cover under that tenancy agreement, then we can look to offer a landlord insurance policy even when renting to family. Some individuals do take the decision, as it is family, not to put a tenancy agreement in place. This is where a lot of standard home insurers that we offer would be able to, to accommodate because effectively how we look at the risk is, is the property occupied by family only? If the answer to that is yes, then we can quite commonly place that risk on a standard home insurance policy. However, if you take the route of looking to put a tenancy agreement in place, then we would certainly look at a landlord's policy to give you that extra protection.